Good day, I'm Phil Creighton from the Shadow Chasers and today we're going to be reviewing the Monotronic Full Spectrum Camera or as some technical people like to call it, the Wide Spectrum Camera simply because it shoots into high, it shoots into deep infrared not as deep as their modified ones for specific infrared and it also shoots into the UV spectrum it has a visible light blocking a visible light filter on this that blocks out all your visible light. Um, like right now, you can probably can't really see that, but you can see the veins in my hand and how much they stand out simply because it's seeing through UV and IR only. Um, it is a high def camera, it shoots in 1080. Um, the visible light filter makes for some great photography, it makes for some great shots. Um, video is a little shaky. Um, the annoying boot up sound is really, really annoying. Um, you can get probably, let's say about three or four hours out of the battery on this, unless you're shooting in uh, the photo mode. Photo mode in burst photo is actually one of the, like, one of our favorite modes for it rather than actual video. Uh, the first time we used this was at the Seven Rays Investigation, and we had it set for burst mode with an IR illuminator. And when we fired, when Kate fired off a series of shots, the first batch of shots she's got, she got a nice picture of a Victorian woman, a woman in Victorian dress with a high collar, hair back, and everything, as she just walked right through the frame. In one frame she wasn't there, in the next frame she was, in the next frame she was gone. And that was the span of like two seconds. It goes click, click, click. So by the time you hit the third second, it stops shooting. So this is a really good device. Um, Monotronic does an outstanding job with this. Um, they do uh, offer a warranty with it as well. They cover any damages. Our first development first full spectrum camera, uh, the uh, little toggle switch up here which you use to navigate menus and it's used for the zoom. This is actually kind of weak so at some point it stopped working and we can no longer navigate the menus. So we contacted, contacted Modatronic and we sent them the device and we had it back within a week and a half and they just gave us a brand new one, a uh, newer model actually. It is really, really handy, really, really great piece of technology for about 200 bucks. And again, you can shoot in wide spectrum or as Modatronic and everybody else likes to call it full spectrum camera. It takes and fires in HD. If you set it to that, you're going to have like right now we have a two that came with a two gig HDSC card. Now the high speed cards are a little bit harder to find and a little bit pricier than your standard uh, SD cards. And this camera will only use the high speed cards. But with a two gig card, we have about 36 minutes of video time or about 80 or 100 photos, depending on your settings. Now, one of the tricks with this is to use it with an IR illuminator. Uh, normal flashes, assisted flashes, do not help when you're taking a picture. This flash on here is shoots across multiple spectrums of light, so you're actually hitting UV and IR, so the flash actually works in camera mode. In camcorder mode, this is not a light, so you need a you need a light source. You need a UV illuminator or you need IR illuminator. UV illuminators are or black lights, uh, black light photography, black light flashlights, they can help but the way that this camera works is it will only see the usable spectrum for it and not for you. So the black lights you can usually see quite a portion of the lighting Meanwhile, IR, you can only see the glow of the LEDs or diodes. And in IR mode, with the, with the IR illuminator, you can see a lot further since, simply because they are designed for wide, 
photography and white videography at night. Meanwhile, a, a black light is designed simply so that people can see or see how things change, like uh, the common ones are UV flashlights uh, for the southwest where you can see scorpions and stuff. So a UV flashlight with this only offers a limited little profile. You'll see a little like little circle, almost like tunnel vision, because everything outside of that little concentrated spectrum at the center of the light, everything outside of that, this camera will not pick up. And you can try it with a flashlight if you're questioning if this is seeing visible light or not. Um, if you shine a flashlight, especially LED flashlight, straight at this thing, you will see nothing. So, but used in camera burst mode, this is a miraculous and amazing piece of technology for the cost. Uh, the recorder, the camcorder portion, portion of it shoots in HD, so it's always great. Uh, microphone's not what it should be, but it is a modified HD camcorder. Uh, as you see, a little cam device. Uh, we have our TV out, we have our HDMI out, and we have our uh, mini USB. So it's a little complicated doing charging because when you close this, the charging ports are here. So, so in order to charge, you have to do that, and you have to keep it low enough so that it keeps power off. Aside from that, that was our only complaint. Beautiful piece of technology. Um, mind your settings, and you, you can accomplish great things, capture great evidence with this tech. Highly recommended, monotronic full spectrum camera, or for everybody that's a little more technical, a monotronic wide spectrum camera, shooting IR and U.